How do you feel like most relationships fail? Lack of communication. What can stop a man from cheating? It's in their nature. You feel like everybody cheats? I don't feel like everybody cheats. It has to be a commitment between the both. At the end of the day, whether male or female is going to cheat. Do you feel like uh, since you're older and mature, now you see why God said wait till you have sex until you're married? Yeah. And why do you think that is? That is because he don't want the marriage to be unconsummated. The Bible says don't be unequally unyoked. Mm -hmm. So at that point, you're supposed to make sure that you choose that right soulmate for you at the end of the day. But if it doesn't happen, there's nothing wrong with separations. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Walk away from it. Okay. Which, which sports uh, are you attracted to? Athletes you attracted to? Football? Basketball? Basketball Why and basketball? baseball. Why basketball? Basketball is a contact sport. Elbow, slide, glide. Baseball, batter up, you slide and glide. Ooh, right. they're going to wipe you. They're going to wipe you. <laughs> they're going to wipe you. So those are the type of guys you're attracted to? I like those type of sports, but when I say attracted, I like military. Military type of guy. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm okay. military. Yeah, I was asking what type of athletes you're attracted to. Athletes, um, let me see. I like Steph Curry. Okay. Love Steph Curry. Yeah, that's okay. Uh-huh. Okay. LeBron James. Okay. Why do you feel like many uh, single young men are done with dating and they're not even trying no more? What's your opinion? It's because of the cheating game. It's mm. called the cheating game. No trust. You know, the lies. Do you believe, like, there's a quote. They say 80% of women are not even attracted. They say women are not attracted to 80% of men. Why do you think that is? Because of the fact they have no finances, mm. probably no education at the end of the day. I don't want to put that out, but might have a little self-destruction with themselves, a hands-on. Mm. And that goes both ways, female and male, you know, at the end of the day. But pretty much that's it. Why do you think the average female ain't attracted to the average guy? Because they're attracted to others, and that might not be their sex. Mm, right. Do you feel like uh, money can buy loyalty and love? People think that it can, but respect carry you when money can't. Would you date yourself? I date it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the difference between somebody got love for you or in love with you? If they say they got love for you, that means they're going to show concern. Mm -hmm. But in love, that means that's the unconditional love. You understand me? Beyond and above, no matter what, forgiveness. And forgiveness come with that. That real, real genuine love. That's like marriage itself. You feel like a man name matter when you dating him? Does his name matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Oh God, I was about to say this now. <laughs> you feel like, uh, what do you think women, what should, what should a woman wear to, uh, to a guy meet his guy's parents? What do you think a woman should wear to meet a guy's parents? For first appearances, I feel that a woman should dress professional. You know, first appearance is everything. Mm -hmm. Nothing ghetto, nothing hoochie, none of that. You know, be classy. Be yourself, but be comfortable with what you come in. You know, you might not have the gear, might not be able to afford the things that you might want to put on, but be presentable enough to know that you look respectful, even if you might not be respectful. Mm -hmm. How do you know when a relationship is over? The arguments, um. the cheating, the lack of communication, the lack of sex mm -hmm. is a combination will make you know that it's almost over at that point and the bigger and fight but once when when the argument comes in and neither person can reconcile and come to an agreement together we know we head in different direction one pulling this way the other person is pulling the other way so at the end of the day relationship is whatever you make out of it but first and foremost I got to keep going back it's communication that's yeah. the main thing you got to talk you feel like uh, women love sex but this like sex being talked about true or false both. Okay. We love sex and we like to talk about it. Who's <laughs> more important, a guy's height or personality, you think? Personality. How can a man, what can make a man attractive if he doesn't have a physical attraction? His mind. Okay. His inner mind. You think people fall in love with faces or souls? Both. The mind heart? and soul. Right, right. Should a man make the first move or he should wait till the woman to give choosing signals? Well, it's goddamn millennium. If you feel somebody that you want to go out and jump for it, 
It's nothing but a try. It's nothing but a try. I don't feel that we should be setting a stereotype where men should approach women first or women should not approach men. It's changing. So at the end of the day, go for it. You want it? Get it. Why do you, why do you, why you think the older women are not giving the younger women advice on relationships in life? Because the younger women don't want to hear it. They feel that they're more advanced at the end of the day, and that's why the cougars are getting the younger men, mm -hmm. because the younger one wants to play. You know, they don't have the responsibility, they don't have the sensibility with their mind to know that this is wrong, but this is how I'm going to play. I'm going to see him, I'm going to see this one, I'm going to see the other one, mm -hmm. you know, multiples. What? But I'm about to change that, but no, I'm not going to change that. And in casual dating, if you just dating randomly, yeah. then that's fine. But if you know that you're in a relationship, that's uncalled for. You had sex with the people that you're casually dating? Uh -uh. Okay. How because come? every, you know what? Because everybody that you do meet, you don't want to lay with. Right. Well, why come after a uh, marriage, after a woman get the house, the home, the kids, and the <laughs> car that she want, she tend to stop having sex with her husband? Why is that? Why? I don't know because that only can speak for me. I don't know why is that. Sex was great when I was married. It was excellent for me yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Men and women, somehow or another, we grow apart. Mm -hmm. Our lives, our careers change. If one person is working in a career field mm -hmm. and the wife is doing something else different, and maybe in the beginning when we got together, yeah. we was equal. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, somebody started progressing. Right. Now it becomes an issue. Right. That's why we start with the cheating. We didn't find something else new in the work field. Okay. All right. If a man cheated, which is worse, um, uh, getting head from another woman or having sex with another woman? Both. Okay. The Five Heartbeats or The Temptations, which movie you going with? I like both, so let me see. The Five Heartbeats. Five uh, Heartbeats. What's a uh, confession you never, like, just told anybody? A confession? Yeah. Um, oh, that's deep. I'm thinking. You want to go back to it? What's a wild sexual experience you ever had? I would say, um, you say wild. Concrete. Yeah, it says on the concrete. Concrete. Yeah, concrete. You want to go a little bit of detail about that right there? <laughs> concrete. I was like, I was like my Clemson year, Clemson in the 80, in 88. Uh -huh. My Clemson year. Uh -huh. Concrete. And I met my daughter's father at the end of the day. So it was wild. Sex was exciting. You know, mm -hmm. brand new. When you, when you first and you've been a virgin, yeah. it's new. It's like, it's like, it's just like a new, mm -hmm. I don't know, a new toy. I want to experience some more, you know, at the end of the day. But it was in the rain. Concrete. Okay. Why do you think a lot of younger girls are attracted to older men? Stability. Finance. Like, what's the age gap dating you was when you was younger? Like, what's the oldest you ever dated when you were really young? In high school or college? Neither, because I was married in college. So, I came in my age group. But after divorcing, um, I started finding myself being more attracted. Still military, mm -hmm. but attracted to older guys. How much older? Um, maybe about 20 years older. And I might well be in my 30s. So you were trying to the 50-some-year-old? Yeah. Okay.